like foe shaky players like that like they always have to overcome those tough matchups like it's just it's just something you have it's a rite of passage essentially we've seen best Nest do it plenty of times and we're gonna see if we can do it yet again because he is indeed breaking out the nest for this first game against Luis's palace Yes, and best nice not DQing from the bracket, as uh, Smashy just right. said earlier. The match timer just went too long. I was very shocked by that. Um, but yeah, of course, here it is. The real loser semifinals, and we've got a pretty back and forth start, but now Luis starting to pull ahead. Like, all right, kind of, ooh, okay. Absorbing that auto reticle, that's one thing that Ness can kind of hang his hat on, is the fact he will be able to recover some percentage. Luis gets a little too reckless with those projectiles. Yeah, Explosive Flame gives him like 3%, but Auto Reticle is a chunky heal for sure. Yeah, that's the big one. Speaking of chunky, we got that super long-lasting down tilt for Palutena. One of the things that really makes this matchup difficult for Ness is just too how... damn active, bro. It's too damn active. I've been saying that forever. Yeah, and you have so much time to line it up when you see Ness bringing the PK Thunder around himself. There's so much time to react. Ooh. Catch on the stair. Oh, he was going for an incredibly hard read there. He's just the best in that, but Luis coming down. Like Luis in aggression. Yeah, both of these guys not afraid to just get right up in your face and scrap. Oh, super unfortunate, the air dodge, but he stays alive and he avoids the up air, but not the grab afterwards. <laughs> That's the warp you don't want, okay? Getting yeeted off the stage via back. So very nice job. Um, that's, that's pretty fragile lead at 121, but let's try to make the most out of it. Ooh, and the up air are going to send him straight up from the platform. That was an excellent recovery from Best Nest just before he died. Uh, he dragged the PK Thunder a little bit lower so he could throw off Luis's timing with the down tilt. And it paid off, but unfortunately didn't keep him along, uh, alive too much longer. All right, the strong areas of Palu making their presence known. There to scoop him from the platform. Oh, but Best Nest coming down with no fear. Both of these guys mashing on the way down. Gotta do it. A lot of these predicaments. Ah, the warp back to the stage immediately calls the best mess off. Oh, the dash dance onto the platform, trying to bait best nest into dropping his shield, but staying tough. And now he's just waiting. Yo, <laughs> the fear factor. Oh my god, Luis getting impatient, eating a bear. And now best nest. Like, that, that, like, it's okay to take your time. Like, there's plenty of time on that clock. You don't have to worry about a timeout in a match like this. Like, and there really is no need to kind of force a situation if you don't necessarily have to do that finesse. It's pointing the fact that we've got a little too impatient coming down the stretch. Yeah, that's all, that's all she wrote. Wow. Beautiful up smash, though. Another move with a ton of active frames. Just sits on the ledge for way too long. And Ness with that slow, goofy double jump. He's an easy target for something like that, especially because he loves jumping to the ledge without using his up B. Kind of mad. I definitely talked for like 15 seconds. Can you put 1% on him before he dies? All right, man. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there, bro. Commentator's curse is too real, man. Damn, yeah, bro. Wild out here. Ooh, we make it play. Yes, we are. It's the best next best. That offstage extension and keeping the PK Thunder right there on the ledge to keep bothering him with more hitboxes. This is slowly, quickly, actually, escaping Luis's clutches. Trying to mix them up. Bait him. Anything on fake. Oh, that back there. He's always threatening it. You know, you know that's one of his go-to closing maneuvers. And yes, Best Nest taking that first game. So sticking with the main, even in a very difficult matchup, paying off for Best Nest. And I gotta say, Max, that was pretty convincing game one, too. Yeah, he really shaped it up. I mean, it was very close, but then um just taking that first stock after being down the whole time really swung things into Best Nest's favor. Definitely. Um Luis able to respond pretty quickly too, but uh, man, once they were both on their last stocks, it got out of hand real quick. That one double PK fire confirm off the stage. All right, brilliantly done from Best Nest. So no need to kind of second guess anything as it stands right now. We're gonna be interested to see if uh, I'd imagine he'll probably stick with Palu, but I don't know if he'll elect to change stages or anything like that. Maybe try and counter pick uh, a little bit. But we know uh, both of these guys have pretty deep pockets, so don't be surprised if anything kind of switches up. You know yeah, best Ness uh, getting rid of the big stages, FD and Kalos. We're going to run it right back to PS2, though. Uh, if I recall correctly, I think they played almost every game. Uh, no, no, the set ended on FD in winner's bracket. You know, the entirety of this back half of the top eight that we've seen like, has only been stadium. Like, since we got on the night, all of winter finals was stadium. 
Very true. Like, <laughs> they're comfortable, man. I'm it's like about. Xanadu top four, bro. All Smashville. This is it. <laughs> so get, get accustomed to seeing this stage quite a bit, guys. As uh, we wind down throughout this tournament, and uh, that's that's kind of uh, winding up. The game trying to be incredibly explosive and doing just that, backing Luis into a corner. Yeah, Luis started so strong at the beginning of the game, dealing 40% uncontested, but then he struggled to DI yeah. out of one PK fire and it just opened up the world. He's got to watch those auto reticles. Like, he was even he was very well controlled, obviously, in that first game. Uh, but still, at any given moment, you throw that out there just trying to edge guard, and you can just pull out that side magnet and just turn that into such a liability. Okay. Super even fight so far. Back to neutral stage positions, and Best Nest making so many openings off of that side magnet stall. Just throws people off in terms of how they're going to trap his landings, what timings to look for, and also which way he's facing can be changed. So uh, there's a lot of uses for that move. Ooh. There we go, getting out of that PK fire. Luis, I, I think there were like two or three really important PK fires between this game and the last that he just didn't get out of, and it cost him so much. Yeah. Really? Gotta wiggle to hell, man. That's, really, that's just what it comes down to. Like, <laughs> yeah, for real. The struggle. That's all, that's all there is to it. What's oh, that one song? Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> God, we ain't in the club. Man. We're on the battlefield right now, and it, it is a battle for Luis. I mean, good lord, he is just trailing. Best mess. I uh, get to just now touching triple digits. It's an absolute tank thus far going deep with that nair. Gonna connect explosive flame, send him to the right, but no, the stock remaining intact. That was a really clean catch, with the explosive flame. Oh, sir, that was stuff. PK flash, looking for it. Got all the PKs out here, bro. Yeah, dude, remember when that move was a meme and like completely useless? Yeah. Now it's kind of good. It is. Yeah, I've seen Best Nest using it a lot, like while he's coming back to stage, while his opponent's off stage. It has a uh, very little ending lag, even though it takes a while to get it going. Ooh, Nair out of shield. Sure, that's it. Just pushing him off. Mm -hmm. And even get a chance to try and warp back to the stage. Uh, best Nest is meeting. I'm going to recover a little percentage on the way as well. Lewis, I think he might be running out of a little bit of gas at the moment. That's Ness. Carrying through him. Yeah, the Palutena just not looking like the medicine right now. Definitely was in winner's bracket. I mean, the way that Luis played was phenomenal, and I think he's still playing pretty well right now, but Best Nest just has these dirty tricks that can really throw you off, and like they're super rewarding when he hits them. Right. That's just the kind of character Ness is. A lot of times, like, you you know, winning the first exchange is good and all, but it's, it's when you have to do the run back, that's when you get nervous, because that nine times out of ten, that's when you're on, you know, the brink of elimination from the tournament, so... I can really change up uh, just kind of like the aggressiveness or just even the desperation you might play with the best to making uh, the correct adjustments in this rematch. Luis, though, obviously still with a pulse man, keeps himself alive at the 75% now final stock with Best Ness knowing, man. This is, you can tell Best Ness is somebody it's like a shark smelling blood in the water. He's just trying to put this away ASAP. Just sticking to the ledge. Oh, and that buffered Ooh. Nair out of the down tilts. I think he wanted get up attack. That would be my guess. But... Unfortunately, it's not going to come through. It's going to be an SD and Best Nest closing the set out 3-0 in the run back. Man, what a statement. Disrespectful, Max. That's 2-0. Wow. What? So I guess the uh, the total game count between them for the day is 4-2 uh, in Best Nest's favor. So Wait, was that two... game three? Oh, I thought it was. Sorry. No, that was game two. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Dude. That's why I called you disrespectful. No, no, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I thought you were talking about the gameplay. And then I kind of zoned out and there. missed what you said because I was looking at the bracket. <laughs> nah, you good, bro. You good. It felt it felt like it. The way that last night went, bro, it felt like it could have been a 3 0. But yeah, nah, Louis sorry, Luis. Another chance to maybe bring this back, get a little magic going, and uh, keep his tournament hopes alive. Oh, man. My bad, guys. So, it all kind of blends together after a certain point. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's the stadium effect. We playing every single match has been on stadium. I think now finally we're gonna see a little bit of a change up. I think Smashville is gonna be the stage we'll contest game three on. So finally breaking up the monotony a little bit. And we've got our green screens up, man. We're on Pokemon Stadium too. Do it. All right. So sure. going to a smaller stage, I think the biggest change is gonna be that every time Luis hits Best Ness at a certain point, it's gonna knock him off stage and put him into a situation where he's gotta recover. And that's where Ness struggles. Palutena could really do a lot about that. I mean every character could really do a lot about that. But especially with that down tilt just you know lurking in the corner there. 
we could see Luis make this really work out for him. Um, but Best Ness with plenty of creative ways to get back. No. Ooh, all right. I would try to go for some trickery on that platform, but no, Luis having none of it. Mm. Trey and Ariel just hit for hit right now. Ooh, so close to that Nair connecting, too. Ooh, ooh, forward smash the wrong way. Best Nest maybe looking for a spot dodge. A lot of players like to throw that out after they with a big move. Not kind of. Sure. A lot of people, spend, you know, they'll panic spot dodge. So I understand what he was going for. Best Nest, or at least just not giving it to him. Almost. Mm. Really like that smash. Yeah, it's just active forever. You can catch a jump and stand up from the ledge. But if your opponent's ready for it, you're mm -hmm. just in so much lag. Trying to find his way in there. That forward tilt will do it. All right, looking for the down tilt, but Best Ness again, throwing the timing off, just bring the PK Thunder a little bit more below him before putting it into himself. And then, uh, yeah, gave him that slight mix up that allowed him to recover safely. Mm. He's asking for a lot. First stock going to be so important. He's definitely hunting extra hard to get there. Oh, and he jumps off the ledge. I thought maybe falling bear, maybe even counter would have been what did the trick there. But now Bestness still hanging on to this first stock. Oh, my God. I love that retaliation with the upper. That was brilliantly done. Not picking a defensive option like you might think in that situation. Both of you guys mixing each other up well. And still nobody getting a fight. Finally, Luis. Going to shut that down. That's 150 on you, Playboy. You got to be careful. And that's why. See you. Well, <laughs> immediately. Yeah, man. Don't take a lot. Meets all around the board right now. What a hell of a game number three we're seeing. Great effort from both. That's the mark of a top caster, man. When your commentator's curse gets delivered on immediately. <laughs> so props to you, Phil. You really made it, man. Hey, man, you got to get a player's the credit for that one, brother. <laughs> the real stars out here, man. Definitely doing a lot of shine. And this is a great game for Luis thus far. Would be tremendous for his momentum. Just finally get on the board. And you take this stock off quickly as he can. Don't let Best Ness have an opportunity to crawl his way back in. He's not going to be able to at least on that stock. Very solid lead. It looks like this change in stage max really making a difference. Yeah, I feel like he's just had a lot more edge guard opportunities. There's less ground beneath Best Ness's feet for him to catch when he gets hit away. Um, and of course, the same could be said for Palutena. She's going to get knocked off stage more too, but her recovery is a lot more reliable. Absolutely. Dash attack bear, nice chunky damage. Best Ness trying to slip on with air dodge here. Still just in a bit of a scramble though. Both players looking to get planted on solid ground. He's just so content with maintaining this space. Best Ness yet to really find an answer. This has been a tremendously good stock for Luis. Oh, you said run up shield. Yeah, Luis calling that one out. Still not enough. Nope. That's pretty much center of the stage, so I have plenty of room to work with. Okay, this is, and this is almost kind of like we, we expected to see like in the first game, right? Like Luis just kind of being this, this total freight train, uh, just running through best nets at the moment. Yeah, I mean, based on the winner's set, mm -hmm. I would have expected uh, Luis to, you know, probably not be down 0-2. Um, if that was a best of five, I could have seen it going to game five. But either way, uh, he's coming alive for sure in game three here. I think we're going to see the set continue unless Best Ness makes some magic happen. It don't, have to be, it don't have to be a hell of a stock. I mean, not saying it's impossible, but just you got to keep in mind how Luis has been playing as well. He's been on it in every facet of the game at the moment. Oh, that grab getting broken up. It could have been very devastating. But as we've been talking, man, just little by little, like, <laughs> you know, kind of setting up. Got a lot of rage on him. That percent starting to get on his side. Momentum. Hard, hard to pin Ness down for the kill, man. Like, he could just drift out of so many setups. He's got surprisingly good weight for a tiny guy. Mm -hmm. well, there's that PK flash just to fend off an edge guard. Not what the situation called for, but still just presenting that threat. Oh, no. Very, very, very rare. Uh, mistake from Best Ness, and especially uh, in a situation like that where you did see him start to gain some momentum back to his side. 
Uh, I'm sure Luis still not upset with seeing the way that one went down. He just wanted to get on the board, and he does just that. All right, hanging on in the set here. We could see the reverse 3 0 happen. It's not out of the question for sure. Um, again, playing a hard counter pick <laughs> matchup. Best Ness is definitely fighting an uphill battle. These pictures are fantastic. By the way, <laughs> they're, just, they're just so polar opposites of each other. You know? <laughs> that is definitely their reactions to that last game. That's the hey, we take those and the oh, god damn it. How did I let this happen? Like I was starting to kind of starting to feel it, pick it back up down the stretch, but it is what it is. Which and for us, it is going to be a game number four. Excited to see how this one goes down for show. Yeah, we'll see if Luis is able to ride that momentum from the last game. Uh, just figure out something new or maybe go back to what he was doing in the winner's bracket set. Go! All right. Smashville again. Yeah, Interesting. Okay. So when you, when you see this kind of a decision from best net, you think it's kind of like a, I always wonder with players, is it like kind of a, like a stubbornness thing? Like, oh, I almost had, I should have won there. I'm just going to do it just, just to prove I can do it. Or is it just calculation? Like, yeah, that's kind of what I feel uh, you know? when people run it back to the stage that they just lost on. Kind of does feel like they're trying to make a statement, but exactly. I mean, here in loser semifinals, I think it's all business for these guys. So there's got to be some kind of reason in Best Ness's mind why going back here was the move. Okay, we're gonna find out. I think he's uh, off to a much better start, that's for sure. Thirty percent lead and looking to really just break him down. Caught him with that PK fire. That was big time. Well, you're not gonna get the hit he's looking for, but still, man, that's mess. Put on the gas on your ass, and this is the result right now. Can you get back to the stage is the question. Yeah, and we saw that rinse and repeat edge guard a bunch of times in their winner's bracket set, and it usually ended with Best Nest getting a little bit impatient, going off stage looking for an aerial, either to stage spike two frame, or, you know, maybe just hit Palutena early. But, uh, yeah, that's exactly where he dropped the edge guard in those other sets. This time, doesn't matter, still gonna close the stock out. Right in front of him, kind of put himself in a little bit of a carry situation. Oh, that Nair, though, just whipping. Yeah, it looked like Luis didn't believe hard enough. Want to respect the PK Thunder and not take like 35 damage. What? What? I'm surprised on many accounts there. I can't believe the forward tilt missed, and I also can't believe that Best Nest missed the ground with his PK Thunder again. Yeah, I was I was looking at that. I was like, oh, very conventional for Best Nest. A couple of these errors. Couple end up holding them down the, yeah, I'm saying, bro, like, end up holding them down the stretch. We'll have to take another look at that, but nonetheless, Luis, very much so in this game. I mean, a game five, like, you were, you know, you're talking about a potential uh, reverse 3 0. Look, we get the game five, anything can happen at this point, and Luis is definitely in a situation where we can make that happen. As a spectator, man, I just want to see some good smash. So I'm cool with five games and whoever winning. Of course. I got high octane matchups like this, I got no complaints. Especially, you know, you kind of look at, you know, it's as far as in the matchup, Nets definitely the underdog in this one. And he's definitely been holding tough in that 2 1 lead that Luis is looking to tie up. Exactly. Best Nets may be the favorite to take this in terms of global ranking, but I mean, Luis is playing a character that destroys his. So can't really feel too bad about, uh, you know, rooting for Best Nets if you're a fan of his in a set like this. There you go. Oh, good catch. Again? Yep. Okay. Five, do I get six? Yes, sir. How about seven? Give me eight. How about nine? Ten? Oh, oh man, you ain't yeah, give me the double damage. Come on, man. I'm just okay. That was a lot of damage, man. Oh, and it's undeckable. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's so will best. And that's one stock away now from advancing into losers finals. Cola awaiting the winner of this. I gotta imagine he's watching this quite eagerly. The watch for eye. Yeah, and as strong as Palu's edge guards are on Ness, you could say the same in the other direction. I mean, Ness can do that to a lot of characters, but especially the ones with teleport recoveries and no hitboxes. Oh! oh! The PK Thunder! It's become a blip on the screen! Best Ness sending them out of here! Woo! That's what we're talking about, boy! My god, that was ridiculous. You see how long he was ledge trapping him? with the down tilts and even on the stock before that with the down smashes and the up smash that was ridiculous this guy is a demon at the ledge i'm saying bro like matchups be damned okay it's not the character it's the player and best nets put him down winning that run back 3-1 tremendous job from luis but he just had no answers for that 
for that semis rematch. We're going to take a look at the Red Bull replays for that set. Man, that last kill was just so good. Oh, can't wait to watch that again. Oh, the buffered air dodge into the stage spike, still living. And then the drag down up air grab. That was just disgusting. It's a phenomenal play all around. And then I thought this was just brilliant. Patience paying off. Just let him come to you, find the back air. And that's what Best Ness does best. Oh, the up smash working out that time. But you saw him miss a couple of those in mm -hmm. game four. Wow. Look at where that hit from. Yep. Seldom he misses those, man. Those back airs. One of his go-to patented decisions. That's a quick eat right there. Yes, sir. And still, even though you see Lewis get a, a lot of offense here in that exchange, he did not end up winning this game. Like this was, and this was the problem. This is what actually going to prompt uh, the next stage that should be coming up. Yep, right on cue. Smashville is where he would finally start to find some success. Love that forward tilt. Caught the missed sweet spot on the double jump. And if he did down tilt there, it would have just popped Ness up, and he'd still have to hit him again to get a kill. Mm. Oh, that, and that was the heartbreaker. Uh, yeah. Again, something very seldomly seen uh, from Best Ness. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then he misses it. Oh, no, it is nine. Sorry, yeah. I thought yep. it was eight. Wait, hold on. He, got, he ends up getting the 10. He ends up getting the 10. We're going to see that 10. Hold on. We're going to see the. Oh, now I got to send the 10. Ooh. We're not going to see the 10, but we're going to see some fireworks right there. Just explosiveness from Best Nest to close things out. Well done, sir. Well done. And you know what's so cool about uh, how he hit him there? Like, Palutena was still intangible getting off the ledge because uh, the PK Thunder hit Ness first. But the right. second she became vulnerable, there is enough of a hitbox behind Ness for the PK Thunder 2 that it still hit him. So that was absolutely ridiculous. And, um, you know, you finally get back off the ledge, standing up, and you think you're safe. All of a sudden, 